they need a certain sense of security too. It's not fair to expect them to just pick up anyone. Yeah. It's not based on your face or your identity or, or your country or your this, that, the other. What it's based on is your history and your reputation within that network. Now, if you don't have a reputation, there is a point at which you'll need to build it up and there are things you can do to do that. That's how these things start. There is a downside to that, but not very much. Your it's reputation is like, what, like a sort of a profile would be at the moment, sort of a, you know, a I've history, got five stars. A history of stars. disputes, a history of any disputes. And if there are no disputes, that's good. If there are some disputes, they can be looked at by the driver and drivers make that choice. Ultimately, they have, a, they have to have a sense of safety in, in their work. They didn't want to go out and be picking up people who are, you know, axe murderers at the side of the street. So we have that, and that mechanism is pretty well understood now. Uh, again, reputation in decentralized networks is solid. It's not something that anyone can modify, and it's also based on actual rides, which are, it's provable that that person rode. You just can't come in and say, uh, you know, slag someone off and just get away with it. You have to have been involved in a previous transaction that the system has verified cryptographically. So that's, yeah, that's something the blockchain is really obviously yes. designed for is to, to prove that something happened beyond any doubt yes. that something so it's a much better sort of historical record of yes. of what really happened you can't really dispute it in the same way yeah absolutely well it's it you could dispute it but you'd be you know yeah. butting your head against mathematics okay. yet again um and it doesn't have to be just the blockchain there's cryptographic solutions by themselves that can do okay. this but never mind so when you do that, you can either go, you might be calling the marketplace, the whole marketplace. That might just mean the immediate, you know, 50 miles around you. Uh, that would be a raw entry into the marketplace. So there's not, you, you then have a, you can then see at that point drivers or your, your device will be on automatic as it is in these days. And, and it will be looking for drivers with a certain reputation. Some people don't care about the, 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 the state of the cab other people's other people do so for instance if i if i'm a student i don't really care and i'm you know some young dude who's kind of i might take a, a ride in a cab that's dusty and messy and i don't care it's got dogs in the back that's bad. maybe it's cheaper yeah it would probably be cheaper yeah. um that's a marketplace whereas i don't want to take that right away you know i don't want to force everyone to have to live like that and on the other side of you know you might want to get into a cab that you know the driver is very you know well presented, yep. uh, whoever he or she is, has got, you know, a cab that's clean and, and it might be a fancier vehicle. Those people want that kind of ride and we don't, we have to provide that too. Yep. So the marketplace really offers all these options and what, what this is, is you have those options back so you can really choose.